I thought I'd share with you a routine that you can use with your deck of cards and this will this will blow your mind. In the chair I've got a bit of an interesting character. This is Il Zolti. Uh, Ills is a magician in training, but do you want to tell them what it is that you do for a living right now? I'm a poker performance coach at Hypno Poker. And that means you get to play a lot of poker, you study cards, you study people. Yes, I use hypnotherapy. And what is it you did before that? I was a croupier at Grosvenor Casino. And that's the reason that she's sat in the chair. Because I know croupiers and I think I can influence the way that they behave. Now, of course, you're sat there thinking there's no way that could happen, but I believe I could walk into a casino and I could, if I had a vision that was strong enough in my head, predict, based on the odds, what were going to happen in any game of cards. I mean, did you sort of come across that when you worked there? or? Not at all. So it wasn't like no. that in the films where people were counting cards and stuff like that? And no. Did the house always win? Always. Absolutely. Well, I'm hoping that today I'm going to win. So I propose that you play the house mm -hmm. and I'm going to be the player. And we'll see how we get on. So take the cards out of the box for me. Just whilst Ills is doing that, and mix them, please mix them. Feel free to check through them, do what you want to do with them. Just, I see you're a little bit suspicious, that's great. It's all right, mix them as much as you want. Now there's one rule whilst you're mixing these. I want you to imagine that you're genuinely back in that casino. Mm -hmm. And you've got to go home that night knowing that you did your due diligence. So mix them as much as you want. To everybody else, there's a little black envelope that's sat on the table. And inside this envelope is a prediction of things that I feel is about to come to fruition. You happy? I'm going to give him another cup for look. <laughs> Is there any way that either of us could know the order of that deck of cards now? No. No, good. So I just want you to deal these one at a time at the table first time. Don't worry about counting them. Yeah, just get into a rapport of doing that. You can stop whenever you want else. Do you want to do one for look? Are you happy there? Do you want to do one more for look? Happy? Yes. Now, bear in mind, did you count these as you were dealing them down? No. no. So put the rest of the deck off to the side over there for a second. Now think about this for a second. If you'd have dealt one card more, one card less, this would have been different. Mm -hmm. Right? I want you to pick the cards up for a second. Don't move the order of them. Just count how many it is that you dealt to. Do you count them down? No, no. So just keep them in your hand like that. That's it. And then square them up, put them back on the table. Are you happy that there's no way on earth either of us could have known that that would be the number that we'd end up at? Yep. And how many times did you shuffle the deck, would you say? Three, four? About five. Five. Mm -hmm. So there's a little prediction inside here. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to read this and you can read along with me. You will stop at how many cards? <laughs> 15 cards. 15 cards. And the card you will stop at will be the <clears throat> king of hearts. No way. Let's have a look. Let's see what you stopped at. Turn it over. Let's see. Serious? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Show it to the camera, there it is. And there's the prediction, absolutely proving that if I came into your casino any night of the week, I'd be going home with the money. You won't be allowed in. <laughs> <laughs>